Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're going to be going through some of the Lego Star Wars sets that are currently on sale on Amazon. Many of these I do think will be great Lego investments. Lego Star Wars is generally one of the better themes to invest in when it comes to Lego investing. So we will uh, go through a couple of these. It is important to note that several of these sets are not going to be retiring for a while, So it's but it's still a good idea to keep an eye on which sets are uh, you think are going to perform well and which ones will rec you'd recommend being good investments. So I'll be going through some of those. So first off, we have the Lego Star Wars Imperial Star Destroyer. This set is uh, selling for retail price, so it's going for 160 If you are able to get this set, it, I definitely recommend getting it on sale. That's of course the case with all of these. Um, so I probably won't be investing in it at least for the next little while, but it may do well. I probably would steer clear unless you can get it on sale though, but it does have some great minifigures in it that will help add value to the set. You also get the exclusive 25th year anniversary uh, Lego figure there. I'm not sure which character that is, but still a great addition to the set. Uh, many of the Lego 20th year anniversary sets did quite well. They uh, have been some of my best performing investments, so I wish I had gotten more of them. So I hope that that trend continues with these 2020, or sorry, with these uh, 25th year anniversary sets. We'll have to see what happens, but I do think that will be the case. Uh, next up, we get to this Millennium Falcon set. This is uh, set number 75257. It is the, uh, well, again, a Lego Millennium Falcon, and we can go ahead and click on it. So in this set, it is, looks like it might be going for a little bit more than retail, so I probably wouldn't recommend investing in this one at the moment. I think this set is actually going to be retiring soon, so they're probably in high demand. So if you happen to have bought one before it went up in value, then it does look like it'll be a good investment. Uh, but I unfortunately did not, and that'll be all right. Next up, we have this Lego Star Wars New Hope uh, with a boarding set. So this one is on sale. The first one we've seen that is currently on sale. And uh, this set is 20% off. I would probably recommend getting a few of these. This is a pretty famous scene from A New Hope and will probably do quite well as a Lego investment. It is also a 20th year anniversary set and it looks like you get uh, pretty great figures in the set. You get some Stormtroopers, uh, Vader, and then some Rebel Forces. And then I think that's Captain Rex. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but that is a great addition to the set. And uh, this one won't be retiring for a little while, but if you are thinking about getting a 25th year anniversary set, I think that could be a pretty great option. Next up, we get to this Ahsoka's uh, Duel set. So I probably wouldn't recommend investing in this. It may do well. I just don't know enough about um, the Ahsoka. Uh, it's probably from the Ahsoka TV series, so it may do well, but I would recommend sticking with mainline Star Wars movies. Uh, and sets that are built from scenes and builds from those movies, but it may do well. Next up, we get to the Lego Star Wars, The Clone Wars, The Jedi Starfighter. So this set is, or sorry, not, yeah, The Clone Wars. This is Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, and uh, this set may do well. It's just got the Yoda figure, and then it looks like you got an R2-D2 figure. Many of the previous Lego Star Wars uh, Starfighter sets, the Anakin Starfighter, Obi-Wan Starfighter, have done quite well. I've been able to buy a couple of those throughout my Lego investing journey, have gotten a few of them, and generally they turn out quite well. So it's very possible that this set is the case, has, will be the case as well, that it'll end up doing well. We'll have to see what actually happens, but I do think it will, I don't think it'll do as well as say an Anakin's uh, Starfighter set or Obi-Wan's, but I do think it will hold its value and probably go up in value uh, after it retires. And then we get to this big Lego Star Wars battle pack. So you get a lot of cool pieces and droids and uh, you get some good stormtrooper or cl clone troopers in this set and it will probably do quite well. It's got some other little builds. You get the little speeder and then the little uh, mechanized um, build over there. And it will probably do well. It looks like it's also on sale. So it will most likely be a pretty good Lego investment. You're also able to get it on sale, so it's 20% off. And generally, LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs are pretty safe, reliable investments. I've been able to buy dozens of them, and they usually perform pretty well. They're not always the best performing, but they're usually pretty safe investments. And uh, this one is um, quite a bit bigger than the average LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack, but you do get um, quite a few more minifigures and um, droids. You also get this, uh, I don't know if this uh, clone shock trooper is exclusive, but that'll probably be a great addition to the set that can help add some value to it. 
Then we'll go back here. So next up we have, we already went to the Imperial uh, Star Destroyer. So we will go, we'll skip the Mandalorian one. And then we, right here we have the Clone Wars Captain Rex uh, Y-Wing y -wing Micro Fighter. So this set has been in hot demand. Uh, it has, it is currently on sale. I thought it went for 10, but Lego might have increased the price. So it's going for 13, but it's uh, still 10 because it's on sale. But um, it's got a great minifigure in it. This is a pretty valuable figure. So if you are going to invest in the Lego Star Wars Micro Fighter set, I think that uh, this would probably be a good option. It's also relatively inexpensive. It is a little bit more expensive than the previous Micro Fighters. Um, you get uh, for, normally they used to be $10, but it might just be that this one is a little bit more pricey, set at the $13 range, but we'll have to see what happens. I do think it'll do well. People have been uh, buying these to collect the, I mean, the Captain Rex minifigure is really the best part of the set. You get the build itself has some little cannons and some little play features and stuff, but overall the minifigure is the best addition to the set and it will help increase its value. And then we have a couple other options here. We have the uh, Lego Star Wars Jedi Bob's Starfighter. This one could be good. I don't know if I, I probably won't be investing in it, but it uh, may do well. I would probably just stick with, um, just like I've mentioned earlier, sets that depict scenes from the uh, first three Star Wars movies, but uh, it may do well. Uh, next up, we get to this Lego ATTE Walker. Let's see if this one is on sale. So it is currently on sale by a small margin. It used to be a little over or around 20% off. So, uh, and I think this one actually is retiring soon. I may be wrong, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, this one will probably do all right. It's got lots of kind of similar to that battle pack set we were talking about earlier. It's got lots of clone troopers as well as some great droid figures. Then the build itself is the, the AT, it's called the ATTE. And uh, this set could do well. I have seen sets like this one do pretty well as Lego investments, but it may surprise us and not do well. But I do think if you're able to afford it, could be a good one to add to your collection. Uh, and then we have this one right here. So I've heard mixed things about this uh, Coruscant Guard gunship. I have seen some people that are pretty adamant about it not being a good investment. Uh, it does have some cool figures there. So I do think it may do all right, but it probably won't do quite as well as some of the other uh, gunship sets. Some of those have done quite well. Um, so we'll see if this uh, version of the Coruscant version will do any better. My guess is it won't, but it's very possible it will. Uh, I, if It could be good to add one or two of these collection to your collection. Uh, I probably won't be, but um, just save money for different sets. Uh, next up, we get to the Mandalorian Starfighter, or the Mandalorian, yeah. So uh, I've been able to buy a, a few Mandalorian sets, and generally they don't do as well as I had hoped they had would have done. Uh, so I'm probably gonna steer clear of the Mandalorian sets for the next while. Uh, they don't seem to perform quite as well as some of the main Star Wars sets, but it may, this might be the exception, but I doubt it will be. So I probably wouldn't invest in that one. Then we have the Mandalorian helmet, pretty much the same case with that. We have a, another little smaller Starfighter set, could be good. Uh, and then we get to some other sets here. We have the Star Wars 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. The other Clone Troopers Battle Pack 501st did quite well. So I have probably about six of those left in my collection. Plan on selling them soon. And we'll skip the Mandalorian one. And uh, we'll end with the Star Wars The Dark Falcon set. This has some really interesting and unique minifigures in the set that will probably help increase its value by a pretty good margin. It's not on sale, so you won't be able to get it for a reduced price, but it may very well be a good investment. I I might be buying one or two of them for my collection. It's also a uh, Millennium Falcon set and those are pretty safe and reliable investments, but we'll have to see what happens. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions about any of the sets we went over today. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.